So I'm sitting here with Peter Jess from Canada at the uh, uh, Medicus Rehab Center. Um, Peter, just tell us uh, what kind of uh, surgery did you have and when did you have it? I had a two-level lumbar uh, disc uh, re replacement surgery. It was L4-5, L5-S1. Uh, that was last week actually. It was Tuesday, the 29th of September. So and who operated you? That was Dr. Ellerhaus. Right, and where did you meet Dr. Ellerhaus and how, why did you choose to come to Germany for this kind of surgery? Ah, I was very fortunate to meet uh, Dr. Ellerhaus along with you um, in Toronto on September 6th uh, of 2015. And, um, well, he was uh, very thorough, very professional, very confident in what he could do for me. Um, and it wasn't a difficult decision at all. Uh, to make uh, to make the trip to Germany. What kind of treatment did you have back in Canada and what was offered to you? Or did you consider a surgical intervention in Canada and, and why did you not go for that? Nothing was offered for me in Canada. Absolutely nothing. Um, and I've seen multiple surgeons in, in Canada. Uh, in fact, the most recent surgeon was a month prior, I believe in August of 2015, where uh, plainly he said there was nothing that could be done for me. Now, um, with this uh, offer, nothing can be done to you. I mean, how, how did you feel about that? Uh, obviously, later on, you were advised for a surgical intervention. Um, what made you doubt that the statement, nothing could be done for you, was not the adequate solution for you? Well, a lot of internet research, um, and certainly that's where I found uh, ONZ and um, Dr. Ellerhaus, Dr. Bierstedt. Um, I was and have done research on artificial disc replacement uh, the past two years, so I was quite well aware that these other interventions were available. Whether they w would work for me, I wasn't certain, um, but that's when the meeting with Dr. Ellerhaus in Toronto uh, on September 6th of, of this year uh, was so beneficial. I was able to meet everybody face to face and uh, as I said he was very confident, you know, very professional um, that I could be helped with the surgery. Now you're just one week after surgery and uh, you're walking around the rehab center, you do your rehabilitation here. What do you think about this program of having a surgery and then post-surgical rehabilitation as in one treatment concept? I think it's wonderful. Do you feel that you benefit from it already? Do you, can you already determine a difference between preoperative pain and the postoperative pain? Absolutely. Um, yeah, there's a big improvement. In fact, I couldn't, prior to the surgery, I could not sit. I believe I've been sitting with you for perhaps 20 minutes or so. Um, uh, there's no way I could sit like this uh, for that length of time without either an ice pack on my back or uh, constantly moving and moving forward, trying to get comfortable. <laughs> So it's a big improvement. It's, uh, I, I couldn't be happy to be quite honest. Now, you know, you're just one week after surgery. What do you expect for yourself? What kind of lifestyle do you expect for yourself in three months, six months, and a year from now? And in other words, what could you not do prior to surgery and what do you love to return to? Oh boy. You're going to make me almost cry here. I'm a man, I shouldn't be crying. Um, but almost anything. Um, boy, you know, I enjoy uh, being active, you know, being physical, uh, taking hikes, you know, playing sports, uh, sitting watching a movie, uh, you know, all the great things that, that, that people do, that healthy people do, uh, that I really was restricted in doing uh, prior to the surgery. Um, you know, again, that question you answer, it's. Um, I'm confident I'll get there, but it just seems to be a dream even at this point. You know, although I'm not suffering that devastating pain that I've had prior to surgery, um, I'm, I, I, it's almost like a dream that I don't have this pain. And uh, I'd like to say to you many other things, however, I'm still cautious for some reason because I've been so long with the pain, you know, for five years uh, with just very like, increasing devastating pain. Um, and now it's gone, it's just gone. And so, again, I have to shake my head at times and think perhaps this is just a dream and, you know, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be you know, back into that terrible back pain uh, position. So, 
uh, perhaps in a few weeks, a few months, I will talk to you and I will let you know what I'll be doing, um, which I hope to, will be at all the activities I was doing prior to uh, injuring my back. Um, so I, again, I'm so grateful um, to all of you and I just look forward to a very successful uh, recovery. Well, that's, that's great to hear, to see you encouraged and we often say after surgery, think from day to day and if you consider an improvement of 1% per day, what is 100 days? Do you have oh. the patience for that? Oh, oh, indeed I do. And we then hope to see you again in Canada as we do regular reunions and regular visits to, to Canada and ho hopefully we'll see you and have good news on radio, Peter Jazz. I will be there. Thank you.